drop it. Disclaimer, I've never made a brush, so I don't know if what I'm doing is correct or not, but if it works, I say none of it matters as long as I like the way it looks and it does the job. So this isn't a how-to, it's a, hey, I've been needing a brush, so I'm going to try and make one. Personally, I think people get too wrapped up into the how people make things. I can understand if I say I was laying a foundation or something like that, that's gonna cause future problems for my building, but something like this, I don't think that applies. Giving tips and opinions is fine, you know. I like learning from others, but it seems like sometimes people are too prone to pushing their method as if it's the end all be all. I usually tune out people like that. This whole this whole social media woodworking thing is supposed to be about fun, about learning and supporting and teaching. I don't see the point of being a jerk because you don't like the way I did it. I'm a fan of other people's channels as much as everyone else. Young, old, female, male. Everyone has their own unique personality and point of view. We all get influenced by others. And yeah, those things bleed into how we do things. But hopefully we use that to create our own style. I'm still trying to figure out the how on that for myself. But yeah, it's for everyone, woodworking. That sort of leads me to the other thought I had. I make a video, I put it out onto the internet world, and hopefully it does good. Hopefully it gets seen by many people. After about five days, I usually 
like to look at the analytics and see how it's doing, see who watches it. One thing I notice is the percentages of people between 30 and 45 and 45 and up are pretty substantial compared to the younger crowd and wonder why that was. Is it the attraction of making things not as big as it used to be? Are we not exposing the younger crowd to making? I don't know. What do you think? There's always going to be a generational divide. Always, and I understand that. But we should encourage people from all ages to make with their hands and their minds. It's a something you can learn for the rest of your life. And we'll never know everything about it. It teaches you many things. Patience. Woodworking minus patience equals firewood. I don't know who said that, but I read that somewhere. But that's something we all learn along the way. Woodworking is for everyone. No matter what age you start at, whenever you finish making something, it gives you confidence. Maybe I can do this. I've said that many times whenever I make something new and more complicated or something I have never done. Like this little brush here. It teaches you to accept that you will fail along the way. But if you keep working at it, you will get better. And you will figure it out eventually. You just have to not quit. Like I said, hopefully this gets out to a lot of people. Young, old, female, male. So they understand woodworking is for everyone. Show us a person who never makes a mistake. And we will show a person who never makes anything. That's another one of those old sayings. And I'm not sure who said that one either. Sorry. This is the last video of the year, and hopefully you guys that watch my videos enjoyed them and learned something along the way. If you did, let me know. This is Ezra Makes signing off for 2023.
our duck.